next section we'll look at is the radiator power and we'll follow that through into the, the radiator valve selection as well because these two are intrinsically connected. Um, so we'll start with the radiator power section. This just simply allows you to create um, some very quick calculations and determine given a radiator type in a room and the design conditions that that radiator is working in what the determined flow rate should be for that particular panel. So it's a very accurate way of determining what the design flow rate for that panel should be in your real-time working conditions. So if for instance we have uh, an 80-60 um, design parameter, so we've got 80 degrees Celsius flow and 60 degree return temperature here for our radiators and we're looking for perhaps a, a 21 degrees Celsius indoor room design. So we're, we're looking to maintain 21 degrees Celsius in here. We can set our parameters and you see they've changed here. And it's determining at the moment that it is a 1.6 kilowatts, 1.62 kilowatts of heat output and that should correspond to around 70 litres per hour of flow rate. Now it's determining this based on the parameters that we have in here. So this is the length of the radiator, so 1200 or 1 1.2 meters long, a 600 high panel and a type 21. So these types are relatively simple to understand. So they start at type 1, 0, 1 being just a flat panel with no convector on the back, 11 being a flat panel with a con one convector on the back, 2 being two panels, no convectors, two panels, one convector, two panels, two convectors, and so on. So if we change the panel type here, you'll see actually we're generating more output here. We've changed the panel type and it's giving us a flow rate here. So it's predetermined this is exactly what our flow rate type should be. There's two different types of panels can be selected on here. I should say this is a panel and this is perhaps a more traditional cast iron type radiator. So clearly there's no panel convector in this instance, but it still allows you to put in the depth of the cast iron radiator, the height and the length. And it still allows you to calculate the, determine what the, uh, the flow rate should be in litres per hour. So we've done this, we've been in a room and perhaps identified a given radiator. We know we should be 84 litres per hour in this. And we know we need to select a thermostatic radiator valve to suit. Go back to our home section again and click on our radiator valves. What you'll see is it pulled through here information from our, our radiator selection part. So we've got 84.1 and now we can determine what type of valve perhaps that we would want to install on that panel. So in this instance we already have uh, an Eclipse which is the auto flow control version of uh, the TRVs. And because it's, a, it's stabilizing a delta P within itself and it's got a flow controller, it's simply a setting that's going to be given here for any of these valve settings. So DN10, 15 or 20, the setting would be the same, a setting of 8.5 out of 10. And this is the minimum required amount of delta P in order to get the valve to function. Perhaps you don't want to use an AFC type and you're going to use um, a presetable type of um, a presetable type of valve. In this instance, we can select a, a clip so exact. It's a presetable TRV, and we're going to use it with a thermostatic head. So we can see down here again, it's given us uh, the pressure drops. It's effectively a variable orifice balancing valves, and it's allowing us to select the right valve here. If I tap on the valve, so in this instance, I've selected a clip so exact. It's saying, well, actually, my setting should be this to predetermine a pressure drop of 10 kPa. So you can very, very quickly use the app to navigate through from having a radiator, selecting the, getting the correct design flow rate in your working parameters within your working conditions of the radiator, and selecting an appropriate TRV with or without thermostatic head um, to best suit the application, and also give you the, the accurate presettings for ensuring that that flow rate is maintained within the radiator. Music